if we do make it to heaven and our loved ones don't, will we have pain of heart for them? I know in heaven there is no pain or suffering. But if we're there and those that we loved are not there, won't that be very painful for us? This is a very common question. I've heard this question many, many times in my priesthood. It's a good question. It's a loving. It's a question of it's a question of a mother. It's a mother's question. It's a parent's question. Um, so first of all, the Lord bless you. Secondly, if we make it to heaven, so when does that begin, Effie? After repose or before? Heaven doesn't start after we die, right? Heaven on earth is where? In the Eucharist, in Christ, in the church. This is the beginning. This is the this is the Aravona, the the um, uh, what do we say, marriage and the betrothal, right? This is this is the um, the. the the, the, the antechamber of heaven. The church is the beginning. If you're not in it here, you won't be in it there. I mean, at least we don't have any witnesses that can tell us that they made it there without being here. That's the that's what Christ revealed. That's what Christ gave. You know, how he's going to judge the world is a different issue, but we, that's how we know where we're going to go to be saved, right? So, um, so what I want to say is that let's just make sure that it, we don't have this idea that oh, it all starts after I die. No, it doesn't. It starts here and hell is here. It begins here and heaven begins here. And people are living in hell right now in this world. And there are people living in heaven like the saints. So secondly, um, when we arrive in heaven and we're at the throne of God, everyone will be, the whole of the universe will be resurrected. Everyone will be before the throne of God. So in a sense, because Christ and God is everywhere present and fills all things, there's no place in the kingdom in this world after our departure after the restoration of all things, there'll be no place where God is not. And therefore there's no place where heaven is not right. What makes them in a hellish existence afterwards? What makes it a hellish existence now? Their rejection of the grace of God. It visits them, but they reject it. They couldn't exist without the grace of God. So they don't want more of the grace. They don't want to increase the grace, right? They don't want to enjoy the grace. They don't want to embrace the light. So they, they close their eyes to the light, but the light still shines where they are. So if you're in that light, you're not going to turn You're not going to have the sense of who's not in that light. Everybody will be in that light. You won't be able to determine the degree of grace that they're, that other people are enjoying. It's not going to be perceptible to you. Uh, and so the, the hellish existence or the heavenly existence is, is there's many chambers, right? There's many, mansions the lord says in heaven and that means there's many degrees and or uh, uh, let's say um experiences of the grace of god depending I mean, i'm not going to have the experience or you're not gonna have the experience of saint saba the saint divider saint anthony the great obviously right we're, we didn't we didn't we're not living a life uh of that saint we didn't see it in this life we're not going to see that level in the next that doesn't mean we're not gonna be in heaven it doesn't mean we're not going to enjoy the grace of god in the great and, um, and unbelievable and, and impenetrable wisdom and depth of God's, He's going to arrange such things that we're not going to we're not going to be exposed to the kind of pain you're talking about. We're not going to have a sense of it. We're going to see and embrace everyone and be in that love, depending on our response to God. And so there will be no suffering and pain in heaven. Right? There won't be the sense that they're not there. We won't. We will. We will be in the presence of God. Everyone will be in the presence of God. And it's exactly how that will be delineated in some kind of, I mean, I can't paint a physical, uh, there's not there's not a way we can make this truly representative in this world, right? Because it, we're just going to use uh, examples of a created world and try to talk about an uncreated reality. So it's just a, uh, you know, it's a, it's a, um, uh, uh, we're stabbing here, you know. We're trying to, we're trying to delve into mysteries which are beyond us in this in this world and in this life. So, uh, but we know there will be no pain or suffering, right? We say that in every Trisagion, where there's neither pain nor suffering nor sorrowing, but life everlasting. So, it won't be there. There won't be that sense of oh, where's mother? Where's father? Where's my brother or sister? It will not exist. Now, exactly how that's going to happen, there's probably different. Uh, patristic writings but, but let's just leave it at that for this for this moment